the, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me, Jehovah Elion, the Lord Most High, Jehovah Adonai, the Lord God, uh, beloved people, this past night, the Lord Jehovah, he spoke with me. There was a tremendous conversation here that involved his two messengers that are currently checked in on the earth here that have checked in for this mission. And uh, in this conversation, the Lord Jehovah, the entire night, what he did is that he presented his two messengers. They were very huge, absolutely very, very huge, very shockingly huge. He now presented them in their true nature and form. Very, very, very huge, even he that speaks with you. Absolutely very, shockingly huge. The kind of huge that is terrifying. And then the Lord changed the hands of his two dreadful witnesses at this hour. And between the feast all the way up to next to the elbow, he made that part bigger and larger. And then he said, he is preparing them for war after the church has been taken. Again, he made their hands significantly bigger and they grew bigger and I think I see a bit of hair, also a lot of hair grew around that part from the feast all the way to the elbow. Very huge hands but they were significantly, unbelievably huge, even he that speaks with you. And then he met the hands very huge, and he made me know that he was doing so to prepare them for a significant battle that is going to ensue, ensue against the devil, a serious battle will ensue against the enemy. And the enemy will have to be crushed. Many, many angels of the enemy, the fallen angels, the devil, the demons, will be crushed in that battle. It will be severe. They will suffer a loss, a big loss. Even as we veer towards the great tribulation that is coming up, that the Lord has shown me. And uh, he also has reminded me in this conversation about January 15th the year 2017 in that vision when he took me up into the sky and he lowered the stairs of heaven and then I stood at a strategic position as I was looking at the church with my left hand beckoning them to climb up and then they turned right and they stepped on the stairs and the cloud opened and the glorious church entered he reminded me of that conversation and that in that conversation where he stood me, my role was displayed and expositioned because he said my role was to safeguard the church. So essentially today I learned that I was guarding the church, essentially guarding the church, the holy elect, watching their safety until they enter before coming back to the second duty of the Lord. So in that position where I stood as they were coming left, and they turned right, with my left hand beckoning them to come, the Lord said, essentially, his servant was defending them and ensuring their safe entry, their safe passage until they enter into the safety of heaven, and heaven closes before the war theater breaks out on this earth. So there is a tremendous acceleration. There is a very unspeakable and uh, mighty, mighty conversation going on right now between God the Father, the throne of God the Father, God the Father himself, his throne and the earth. And time has passed. 
So this is the hour at which it's important, it's going to be important for the church to be holy and righteous. Whoever cares about their eternity, may they listen. Let them listen and repent from all sin. Turn away from immorality, the sin of lying, sexual sin, this gospel of prosperity, the preaching of money that has robbed the church, has stolen away the authority of the church, the inheritance of the church, this gospel that is horizontal and focused on the well-being, the here and now. So he is instructing the nations now, the peoples of the earth, the church of Christ, to repent in Christ Jesus, to receive Christ Jesus as Lord, and worship Jehovah, and in holiness, absolute righteousness, total obedience, because this is the hour of restoration, that they may enter eternity. We are sitting on the verge of eternity at this hour, and this is going to be a critical moment, a critical time in the life of the church, and the life of this earth. I have seen the destruction of this earth, and I've seen he that speaks with you significantly involved in the destruction of the earth. And it's a tremendous process. It's an unspeakable titanic encounter. It's a demolition that you don't want to engage in. You don't want to know. That's why I'm not preaching it to you. But mine to you is that please prepare the way and enter into the safety of heaven because time is running out. I have seen the Lord raise his two servants, very giant, very, very giant, and then he strengthened their hands this past night, and very huge hands, huge astronomical uh, stature, and then the hands, and then the hair grew on the hands, ready for battle, meaning I have now trained and prepared their arms for battle. May those who have ears prepare the Messiah is coming. This is he about whom the prophet Malachi spoke, and also Zechariah the prophet spoke. This is he about whom it was written, the book of Matthew 11. This is he about whom Isaiah wrote and said, Behold, he would send a messenger at this hour to prepare the way for the Messiah, to prepare the church for her safe entry into eternity before the terrible and dreadful day of the Lord beholds. May those who have ears simply repent now and receive Christ. And I'm going to lead the entire earth to the Lord Jesus now, whosoever wants to take Jesus now or renew their covenant too, this is the hour. Repeat after me. Say, precious Lord Jesus, I have heard your word about the glorious coming of the Messiah. And I surrender to you today and recognize the beauty and the triumph and the might of the glorious work you did for me at Calvary when you died for my sins and resurrected and today I receive you into my heart as my Lord and Savior and I repent of all my sins and ask you to forgive me, Lord Jesus, and establish my name in the Lamb's book of life in heaven, and anoint me with the Holy Spirit that I may walk in absolute holiness and righteousness and resolve for the kingdom of God. Lord, help me to attain an eternal bearing in all I do in my life, a bearing towards eternity with God in heaven, and establish your word in my life. And use me now in this great move of God, this great revival that is consuming the earth and preparing the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. Today, I have received you, Lord Jesus. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I am born.
born again. Now, if you have said that prayer, beloved people, make sure you are fully baptized to fulfill all righteousness. But again, I have seen the Lord this past night. He raised his two witnesses, his two servants, the two that stand before the Lord of all the earth, the, the earth, the two anointed olive trees that stand before the golden lampstand that is the Messiah. And the Lord has raised them in stature and strengthened their arms for battle, essentially preparing them for the dispensation beyond the taking of the church and the gathering of the saints. May those who have ears listen. Scripture has been fulfilled in your eyes and hearing. The scripture that promised the messengers that would come and prepare the church and then counter the adversary in the next dispensation. So please, may your wisdom not fail you. Shalom to the, to the rabbi. Good afternoon.